Calcification is a very integral process to corals and to a lot of marine invertebrates, actually. And so much like you or I have to secrete bones, we, we sequester calcium, we kind of pull that out of our diets. They say drink milk so you have healthy bones and you get big, strong bones. Corals have to get that calcium and carbon from the seawater to create strong skeletons, just like we need a strong skeleton for support. So when you see huge reef structures, like the Great Barrier Reef, which you can see from space, that entire calcium carbonate structure is the result of calcification of individual coral colonies. And what ocean acidification does is make the availability of building blocks of carbon that they need for their skeleton less available. So they have a more difficult time actually laying down strong skeletons. So we know even though ocean acidification is talked about as this thing of the future, that it's already happening. And we wanted to see or try to, to detect whether it's having measurable impacts on coral reefs already. So two years ago, we went to a reef in the Southern Great Barrier Reef called One Tree Island. And our goal was to restore seawater chemistry to what it was a hundred years ago. So every day we would take this tank out and we would fill it with normal seawater from the lagoon, just ambient seawater. And then we would alter the seawater chemistry inside of that tank by adding chemicals. And then we'd pump it up onto the reef flat and we just let it naturally flow over the coral reef without, uh, without impacting it at all. And we let it flow over the reef for about an hour and then we measure the calcification response in order to see whether uh, we're having a, our treatment is having a measurable impact on the seawater. And what that allows us to do is at this ecosystem scale, see how the, the reef as a whole is going to respond. Because so many of laboratory experiments are looking at individual organisms in a tank under controlled laboratory settings. And this really lets us kind of scale up to understand the ecosystem response as